Hello YouTube, welcome to Drake Array Gaming. Today I would like to talk to you about how to increase your FPS in Warzone as well as all of your video games on the PC. Uh, there's some interesting tools out there and a bunch of research I've done. As usual, I'd like to share this with you. No BS, no fluff, here we go. All right, first thing I'd like to share with you guys today is this is called Process Lasso. It's a really great app that you can actually go download and use, it's free. Uh, this is the website it's actually on. It's uh, bitsum.com and there's something called Process Lasso. It's a real-time CPU optimization and automation tool. Optimizing but also automating on system startup certain settings and things that you would uh, like for each particular app. So once you get it installed, this is actually what it looks like. And inside here, it looks a lot like Task Manager, but there's more that you can do with it. Now, this is not a tutorial on how to use this app. I'm just gonna show you what you need to know to get more FPS in your video games, possibly, depending on it, and talk about Warzone FPS increases and uh, the results I had. So first of all, um, you can sort by uh, memory and see what's taking up the most, just like you can in uh, Task Manager. Uh, you can also check out the IO priority, the CPU affinity, and the priority class for it in the CPU class, um, and see which CPUs it's actually uh, using in the affinity, like 0 through 11, the average CPU percentage, a lot of good data and information in here. Um, and what you can do is it gets pretty fun when you right click on the particular app you want to use. Uh, say, for instance, uh, you're looking at uh, Warzone. Or, or another type of processor. Um, what you can do is go into the CPU affinity or priority and actually set up a uh, automation with always command or a current uh, just for this session uh, setup uh, if you wanna test things and try things out. Now I got a comment in uh, one of my videos about SMT. So you can see here that there's SMT. Well, SMT basically in a nutshell is uh, hyperthreading. Um, and and it goes there's a lot of information and goes really deep into it But all you need to know is that it's an option that you can toggle to increase your FPS possibly depending on how the game utilizes CPU now Warzone doesn't use CPU uh, Very well. It's not optimized to you. It, it, it uses it way too much in the wrong way Let me put it that way and so there's a lot of different tweaks and options that we can look at tweaking to get more FPS in Warzone depending if you have an Intel or AMD um, I put out another video using uh, the CPU Ryzen, the AMD Ryzen Master software, um, which is, is really good. And I'm actually running the game, uh, I'm running my in 12 core mode uh, on my, my system. And, uh, and, and, and it's actually six core mode, 12 threads. And I'm running, and you can see here it says 12 core processor AMD Ryzen 3900X at the bottom. I'm actually running it in game mode where I'm using the six strongest cores for my gaming and uh, not using hyper-threading uh, with Warzone, and it helps a ton. This helps a ton. What also may help you, depending on your CPU, is using Process Lasso. Go run the game, go in here, and uh, for the C for the session, on the CPU Affinity session, I would say current, CPU Affinity current, disable SMT and also try that. Um, there's an Intel app as well for the Intel CPUs you can try. And I would definitely recommend trying those two apps and also trying this free application called Process Lasso to uh, do some testing. Now, that includes CPU priority uh, above normal or high for the session, as well as going to CPU affinity for this, for this session, current, and uh, disabling SMTP or selecting uh, affinity uh, there as well, um, or prior, uh, affinity versus priority, rather. So you have priority, and then Affinity, where you can actually select which CPUs you'd like it to use. I'm running 12, so I have 0 through 11. In IT and technology, you start at 0 as 1. You have 0 through 11. Uh, and then you have your Affinity and your um, Disable SMTP. So, uh, now, this is, now once you get it set, I would recommend doing an always and, and setting your always up and, and saving these settings and, and making it launch on, on boot. Uh, there's some different options you can do inside the application so that you can actually set it to, to push those settings on launch every time you restart your computer and whatnot. And this is really about getting more FPS in your video games, and this is a great way to actually do it. A lot of people are finding great results uh, with disabling SMTP or SMT to getting, for getting results. Um, I was actually reading an article uh, with some testing with AMD and how a lot of people with the hyper-threading disabled 
depending on the cards. Uh, we're getting gains, noticeable gains in 1080p and 4K, depending on the game. Uh, Grand Theft Auto, uh, Tomb Raider, different games like that, Rocket League. Um, uh, we're seeing benefits um, from this being flipped and toggled. Now, I saw huge benefits from using the AMD Ryzen game mode, running my, my strongest cores, um, also setting the priority to uh, above normal or high, and also setting the affinity to um, basic, so, so technically I'm basically disabling hyper-threading because I'm not doing it here. And I want to do some testing where I'm trying it here, but what I'm actually doing is I am in a sense disabling SMT hyper-threading because I'm going into the Warzone uh, file manually. In Call of Duty, say Modern Warfare, you go to Players folder, Advanced Options, as I've just as I've covered in uh, some of my other videos, and I actually have my render worker count at at three. Uh, I actually was had it at six, and I've had it at three, and I get a few more frames at three than I do six. This is actually the physical cores that it's using uh, to render the game. So in a sense, I think it's using three cores, three threads, so six. But this is the physical cores I believe that it's using. So I'm running it in a pretty much a six CPU mode, a three core, three thread mode. So I don't know if it's technically uh, using the threads or uh, using the hyper threading or not, but I saw a huge FPS performance boost from changing the render worker count in this advanced configuration file, both for Cold War and Warzone. And this now, this process lasso is gonna give me another official way to tweak the hyper threading for Warzone and other video games to see if I can get a performance increase. I highly suggest you guys check this out. Absolutely. As always, guys, thank you so much for checking out the channel. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. I try to comment down below to everybody. Uh, we have Click that notification bell. We have a lot of fun on the live streams. I'm here to help. I'm here to help you fix your games and, and play games with you guys. I'm Draco Ray, and I'll see you guys next time.